Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft, and welcome to a series of Frankensteinian creations. Sir and sirettes, if you have been listening to me in my last few videos, you'll have noticed that I've been talking about building a few new tier 10s, or at least one new tier 10, and so, so I was saving up for it. It's a very expensive endeavour. I think really I needed about maybe 8 million RP, something like that, for the design I wanted, and I'm still keeping that secret until I build it. But it dawned on me. Lathrix, you have a lot of tier 10 spare parts, don't you? Well, yes, I do, other Lathrix. You also need to buy tier 10 blocks for your new robot, yes? That is also correct. So why not combine the two and make a series of very small tier 9s until you have enough to build the final design? And honestly, I couldn't argue with myself. As much as I tried to, it became clear that was actually a genius idea and an easy way to farm RP with the daily win bonuses, because in tier 9 you essentially get the tier 10 basic win win RP for your win bonus, which is quite nice. And having multiple butts is certainly an enjoyable experience, considering I have I currently have three tier 10s, and playing the same three butts over and over again to farm RPs, I still don't really enjoy being a megabot, can be a bit tedious. So, let's see what we've got here, and what we're going to be playing today. We have the mini Sleeky, made of completely tier 10 parts, other than the shields, and a couple of the um, thrusters. It packs a nasty punch, and is actually remarkably difficult to take down, due to the armour of a tier 10 wing everywhere and tier 10 armor. We then have Scorpy, a actually fly, this does actually fly remarkably well. It's a tier 9 rail walker, as, as you may imagine, once again mostly tier 10 with the odd little bit of under tearing, well sorry, regular tearing I should say, with the legs the, and the shielding. And finally we have my favorite, mostly because the name made me laugh, we have Lathsky. Yes, lath ski is what you imagine. It is a ski. It is a sled. It does nothing more than that. It is, it's, it's technically a drone when people spot it, I believe, because I don't know how the skis actually change a name. It goes ridiculously fast. I think it can reach 220, 230 miles per hour, and it has a lot of tier 10 weaponry, along with thrusters, etc. It turns remarkably fast as well and actually clings to anything it's going on, so it can climb cliffs with ease. The problem is it does have a tendency to try and take off because of the huge speed and light weight, but that's not really too much of a concern. This packs a punch and dies remarkably easily which I think is the trend of all three vehicles. I really didn't try too hard to make them too survivable, as I already felt bad for making such, such blatant over-tiered stuff. So they're all basically, they all look to me like mini tier 10s, which I think is adorable. Very similar to Throne. So today we're going to be getting into a match, one of each. I'm hoping I'll just get three wins in a row if I don't then oh well. We're going to start off with my favorite, the Lathsky. So back in a second. And we are back for the first match with the Lathsky. And uh, before we even start, this medic, I keep seeing the design. I mean, there are so many YouTubers and Twitch and live streamers, I mean, which now do Robocraft. It's not surprising that certain designs get popular very, very quickly, but I'm just surprised by the quantity of certain ones dominating over the others. I suppose it's. It all, it's all to do with how easy the design is to make. It tends to be, if it's an easy design, millions will spawn. Upstairs, he actually rammed straight into him. Anyway, yep, we're going to start off straight away in this lovely fellow, who's going to be remarkably quick, but very, very frail, so I'm hoping to let our guys stay behind. Are you trying to ram me on purpose? He's really not going to get much done there. Okay, so I'm going there, there's an SMG going this way, so we're going to go this way. I'm going to leave off my downwards thrusters for now, just because it's quite a flat surface, and, they, and it does slow me down somewhat. Okay, now we turn on the downwards thrusters so we don't go sliding off into a crevice. Where are they? There they are, okay, lovely. Can our fellows take a little bit of damage so we can, you know, do some healing? Oh, hello. Aha, thank you. I believe I asked for that. Thank you very much. We do have remarkably quick healing on this part, as, as these uh, medic guns are tier 10. Now, I do want to be healed, I just took a little bit of damage, not too much though. Considering how frail this buff is, I'm surprised I took so little damage on that plasma barrage, honestly. The one issue I have with this robot, and I keep noticing when I play with it, is that I can't turn very well, if at all, if I'm not moving. And he's actually rammed into me in such a way I couldn't move, that was good. There we go. As long as I'm moving somewhat though, I turn fairly easily, it's just I can't stationary move, which makes fine controls very, very awkward. As you can imagine. Ooh, hello. Oh, well, actually, see, actually, hits him a little bit. I was just about to say, why am I aiming at him? I'm clearly out of range. Then I see a little bit of damage pop up. You are the fellow who plasmaed me earlier. 
to go for his weapons if possible. There we go, took out two of them straight up. And there goes the third, excellent. We've helped. Back to healing. Who's going up for a medic? Danios. Okay, we can go to him. Downwards thrusters are. Oh no! He was destroyed. Sadly, didn't quite get to him in time. We tried that. Oh god. That was a nasty to beat there. Which means there is someone behind that wall of ice, which is somewhat worrying for me. Okay, gonna run past this if possible. I was hoping perhaps to use that as a ramp. But okay, now go. Good, good. We made it, we made it. No damage done to us. We're currently losing this fight. We have too many medics left and too little else. That um, Tesla is a medic, isn't he? Now we could go. Ooh, hello. Rail hitting our medic. Spot the um, rail again. Let's go and try and heal our medic up a little bit. There we go. Hopefully, one of our SMGs will eventually. T oh, hello, that, that guy over there's been hit hurt as well. I'll, I'll go to him as the other guy already has a medic. So let's try and heal up our secondary SMG. We're being very useful to the team. I feel very. I don't know, lock of taking part in this match. There we go. Enjoy your heal, sir. Can you please go for that rail? It'd be very much appreciated. Thank you. Beautiful. Well done, sir. Why are we being capped? Well, I'll go back to the... Okay, let, let's go back um, towards our base. We are being capped, and an extra healer is never a bad thing. Oh, no. Our medic over there has been killed. I think it might be the end for him. Oh, yeah, there's no chance of saving him there. Oh, hello. Thrall can annoyingly see us here. Do we try and save the medic? I think we do. Ah, oh, crud. Take this. We helped a little bit. Oh, no, he got taken out by whoever's on the base currently. Darn it. I was about to say, perhaps we can just about heal him now, but, um, sadly, there we go. Ha! <laughs> Flipping. No, I thought it was going to end up okay. Normally I do, that's a shame. Sometimes the price is speed. This isn't the best map really to get some speed going, it's too many tight corners. I think though that rail is the end, yeah that rail is the last one on their team, that's wonderful. Has he fell off yet? Uh, nope, should we go cap instead? Uh, yeah, if, we, well, if he's stuck. Oh he's falling, he's falling, okay. Let's go now, I think he thinks he's safe, so he's probably going to try and make a dash to try and hurt us, so if we can. He goes that way, I'll go the other way. Okay, never mind, we're both going the same way, I thought he was going to go for that crevice there. Where is he? I just... Oh! Darn, he moved around the corner. I thought... He, I, I honestly thought he couldn't move. And we steal the kill. Excellent. <laughs> GG. That was a lovely first match. Absolutely lovely. What I get. Not bad at all. 59k for a tier 9 match. I'm more than happy with that. Lathsky proves itself somewhat useful. Next, we'll be using the Scorpy, also known as the Mini Flutter. Let's see if this one does as well as the Lathsky. Back in a second, that first ma And we are back, and I believe this mountain or this mountain will be my home. Uh, which one do I want to be on more? I'm thinking this one, because I never go on this one. Although those eggs do seem really badly placed as a rail site. Well, they're going to get in my way every time I try to do anything. Ooh, that looks better over there, though. Hmm, perhaps, perhaps a change of mountain. Do I already betray this mountain? I think I already betray this mountain. Let's go. Onwards, little flyer. Onwards. To glory, victory, and adventure. And hopefully shooting things with a sniper. There we go. Nice hiding place there. Okay. I can't... S I haven't been a rail walker enough recently since the map changes. I never quite know where to go. Ooh, two medics hit them both. That is a very tanky medic. Two shots only did 7% damage with tier 10 rails. I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, we spotted that medic there. We have a lot of medics on our team. And our team... Oh, our team suicided. Let's just take him out of the sky. Be a nuisance. And we're going to duck our little legs and hide back. Yeah, that's not good. Our team are not doing well at all down there. He's got a medic as well. Damn. Last shot missed completely. Spot them both. Why am I not hearing spots? So who's just hitting me with SMG? I don't even know where the SMG was then. Okay, so that our entire team's there, their entire team's there, and we're getting yeah, suitably wrecked. 
That's gonna hurt in the morning. But can we hurt him as Yes we can! If that's we can kill him. Sometimes it's just worth the risk of damage. Oh, that's a cool looking tank they got on their team. They have a lot of medics left. And they're both extraordinarily tanky. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh no, I should have stood my Oh, I didn't think I was gonna do as much damage as I did, so I moved back thinking, well I'm not gonna get the kill, I might as well make sure I survive. And instead I've lost my legs regardless, and I didn't get the kill. That was terrible. Could have got a kill there, could have took out one of their medics. I think it's a bit light now, regardless, we have lost, but still. Yeah, I must have hit somewhere good. Darn it. Lost control as well. Without the front leg, my, my movement's extremely erratic and I can't really position myself well. Yeah, it's that done. Um, at this point, I think it's time to fly off into, in, into the future. Be right back, Sir and Threads, with the next match. Okay, and we are back on the same map on the other side. Let's see if we can redeem our name after the little bit of cowardice there at the end. I realised my time was up, and being annoyed at my movement, I decided to simply, you know, return to the militia, return from where I came, my people needed me, and I left the map gracefully. The enemy have three rails, so I do need to take that into, into consideration this match, so there's going to be a lot of anti-rail railing. Last match they actually had none, I think. None or one. If I did have any, they didn't see me. I certainly didn't see them, so... But I think I may have saw one on the load screen, I can't quite remember though. Okay, let's stay here and let's see if we can end up spotting anyone who comes past. Okay, there's an enemy bomber there. What's he gonna do though? I would like if he was brave enough to try and come to our team for a flank with any gears. Which is fair enough, I mean, I wouldn't do it, so. Let's see, can we call this guy? Yes, we can. Wonderful. Risk versus reward, so it's a risk versus reward. Do you think you can outright kill this guy by coring him? If yes, well, you can give it a shot, but of course, you're not gonna weaken his weapons by doing so. Most likely. Oh, we are a nuisance. Two enemies down already, the scorpion stings. That should help out our team a lot, having two of them just outright gone and start the match. There's their medic. Hit the medic, this and aiming at us, so let's go for him. Oh, good time to duck. Hello there, friend. There's a rail aiming at you. Which means there's a rail who can see up here, because there's a rail coming from underneath. Oh, I shit him! I, I was about to say, oh, there's no chance of me hitting him. Ah, parting gifts for both of you. I don't have to move, I like it here, this is my place. Ooh, huge sneezing fit there, Sir and Shreds. I'm hoping I had the editorial skills to actually edit that out then. That was very, very loud and straight into the microphone. <laughs> I didn't feel it coming on, it just kind of happened, and then there's sneezy noises. Where's the last enemy? Is he in the crevice? Yeah, that, me that medic's about to screw him over. Lovely, what a nice match. That went remarkably well. Sometimes tier 10 rails can be rather effective in tier 9. Tier 10 can be effective in tier 9. Who would have thought? And 49k. Not bad. Not bad. So last but certainly not least, then we have the Mini Sleeky. I, I, I would say the weakest of the three. This is a... Uh, yeah. This is essentially a very small version of the Sleek, which is my tier 10 TX1 cubed um, bot. It has mostly tier 10 items, other than, uh, once again, the shields are different. And yeah, we've already shown it off, but I just want to have a look at it one last time before I should get into battle, because people have short memories. Um, perhaps we can actually add more thrusters. The last time I did play this, I, m I must say I wasn't pleased with how fast it was going. It was quite sluggish, actually, in most respects. What I could do, perhaps, is just put a single thrust on the back here, if we can actually get into fit. Uh, I want that gun. The gun is certainly more important than additional thrust thruster. Give myself that much. Perhaps you can... Okay, yeah, but no, I don't want to put it out any further. It'll, that'll just mess up our, cent our centre of gravity, something fierce. Is there anywhere else we could actually put these? I mean, we could put them here. I mean, th these shields aren't particularly good. Okay, let's go for speed over shields. Do we have any, any other doubles? No? Okay, so we've just sacrificed a bit of shielding for a tiny bit of speed, so it's a very small thing for a very small thing. Okay, so back in a second then. And we are back next to one of the smallest medics in, in a high tier I've ever seen. 
Anyway, let's go. So what do we want to do? Do you want to be brave and shall we um, transverse this land and go around to them? Or shall we stay reasonably far back until the battle commences? I think we're going to do a bit of a half measure. Go along this mountain, kind of stop halfway. So, 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 so then we can judge it. I've got to say, I'm still a bit slow. I don't like the speed of this thing, it must be said. As the lovely teammate said, spotting would be good here. So at minimum, let's try and act like a bit of a scout. I mean, we do pack a nasty punch. I mean, the main reason why bombers are so effective is because of where they hit from. People tend not to shield themselves correctly on top, which means you can have a nasty bit of damage from less from less weapons than you'd expect. A lot of no, sorry, more damage than you'd expect from less damage. From <laughs> less weapons. <laughs> Talking and flying is hard, so I wouldn't recommend it. Aviation, not for everyone. Please consult your consult your doctor before using. Ooh, goodbye to you. Well, you're not dead, but certainly out, out of the match for now. Unless you get healed. Oop, so that easy. And a finisher! There's no healing from that. Let's get, okay, there's an interceptor there which is killing our flyers, so I don't want to be over there. Let's wait until this group engages that group and then we can become a bit of a support unit. So let's, let's so shall we try that sentence again, Sir and Threads? It does more damage than you would expect from less weapons than usual. There we are. That makes some sense. Oh, we've been spotted, it's firing her down. Just missed, sadly. He is the one who spotted us and did see the shot coming from a mile away. It wasn't exactly a hidden shot. In the dark. Oh. Darn! I want to hurt someone. Why can't I hurt someone, please? I mean, we have killed someone already, but still, there's their interceptor. Can we perhaps give it a quick um, bomb? Their interceptor's very um, non flyer like. We just clipped it. We just clipped it at the edge of the explosion. It did almost nothing. But almost nothing is best, better than actual nothing. I can't see him. Where's he gone? Ah. Backs off. Okay, fair enough. Okay, most of them are quite badly hurt at this stage. Let's um, see if we can make it a little bit worse for them. I think it's time to be a bit more aggressive now. Try to push home the advantage. Lovely. Direct it on the head. Most of his shields got blew off. Second shot. A load of damage done. And he's gone down. Can we get the kill here? We can indeed. Two kills. Well, that was nice. That was actually remarkably nice. A nice match overall. Got, got, got to do all the aspects of being a flyer, which I do love. Probably not as much RP as the others, though. No, didn't, didn't do as much damage, though. That's what I do notice. Intel Tier 10, you don't really get as much damage done per match as a flyer. Perhaps it's just me. Perhaps it's just me. But, so Jets, that is my three new robots until I decide to merge them together back into a glorious new tier 10. I will be using them for some RP farming because I get bored of using the same bot over and over and over and over and over again, which of course is the sleek might and the ambassador, and very rarely bore. <laughs> it was loading so slowly. So, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode and are enjoying the series, likes, favorite, shares, comments, all that good stuff, really helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows this is a series you are interested in, interested in and want to, to see continued. So thank you, have a lovely day, do take care. Until next time, goodbye.